Hello, my name is Dinus Mickel, and I've put together this video to talk about three things. Um, I'm going to tell you about my experience with tinnitus. I'm going to let you know what happened to curetinnitus.org, and I'm going to tell you about a potential membership site on curing tinnitus. First off, my experience with tinnitus. I'm going to share that because I had a pretty rough rough time. Um, at the beginning of tinnitus, and I don't feel like I was handled very kindly, I would say, by the medical community. It was sort of like, oh, oh uh, yeah, you've got tinnitus. Well, that's incurable. Here, take this little thing and put it in your ear. It'll go like this, shh, in your ear. And like at that point, I wanted any additional noise in my ears. I, I still, I'm sorry, maskers. Okay, fine. Um, so it was really, really tough. For me and even though this is an is a deeply deeply personal um, issue I'm gonna share it because I think that maybe there are some people out there who are supporting somebody who's come down with tinnitus or maybe there's been some there's someone who's had tinnitus for a long long time um, you're either supporting someone or um, or you have tinnitus yourself, I'm, I'm thinking that my information might help you. Well, it's February 15th, 2002. It's 4.30 p.m. Um, I think I might have had a little bit of something for breakfast that day, but I went to some meetings. I had a pretty hectic schedule that day, and I came home early, but I hadn't eaten. It's like 4 or 3.45 I came home, and I just took a nap, I fell asleep, and I passed out so hard, I was, like, I was so asleep that, that I fell on my face, kind of like this, and I just fell asleep, I conked out, I think I might have even had my clothes on, like I, I must have kicked off my shoes, but anyway, so I'm in bed like this, right, and I wake up, and I move my head, and my jaw goes, Psh! and, Psh! and it's this extreme, extreme pain, and this howling noise, howling, howling noise. I, oh my God, I was freaked out. Yeah. And from there, you know, medications, like doctors telling me it's incurable. Um, diagnosed with a liver condition, and then I found that I found a, a, a liver cleanse online. I, I, I did this um, this olive oil, Epsom salts, and uh, and lemon juice uh, liver cleanse. Actually, my wife found that online, and then I found a bunch of additional recipes, and I, I, I picked one and I made something that made sense for me, and I did it. Flushed the liver, went back to the doctor, did the blood test, and no more liver condition. And the doctor had, had told me that I was going to need to take one of these two medications, likely for the rest of my life, blah, blah, blah. Um, well, so medications uh, offered treatments, inadequate treatments, like telling me, you know, you're going to need to put this masker in. And... Um, and before I really dedicated to curing the tinnitus or to being on the road to curing tinnitus, um, ending my life seemed like a really, really appealing, appealing um, solution. I was going to do it in a fun way. I was going to write everybody a letter, all my friends and relatives, and maybe jump out of a plane without a parachute. That was kind of the fun way that when, when the pain got to be so bad I would just you know think about jumping out of a plane and just you know splat you know but maybe above the ocean that probably something where there'd be some you know something fun to look at on the way down um, <laughs> the people who, who don't have tinnitus are thinking that I'm nuts and, and that are watching this and the people who do have tinnitus are like yeah yeah I know what you mean you know <laughs> just oof, oof, splat but then, what really freaked me out was, what if we are eternal beings and I committed suicide 
And like I'm dead, right? And I'm eternal, but my soul still has tinnitus. <laughs> so anybody out there want to like end your life? What about being eternal and like still having the condition? That would like that would be so bad. <laughs> Oh, man, that would be bad. So anyway, I started doing curative things. I did neurocranial restoration. I learned biomental training, which was how to enact the body's own uh, healing reflexes. Um, it's a pretty prominent doctor in Germany uh, who's treated just loads and loads of tinnitus patients with this biomental training. I did that. And um, basically, then I started noticing that my hearing was outstanding. I mean, my my hearing uh, my hearing really is amazingly, amazingly good now. Um, I have a tiny bit of tinnitus. I have some considerable pain, um, but just nothing like what it used to be. So I'm still on my way to curing the condition, but, but I'm dedicated to curing the condition, and I'm dedicated, hey, you know, if I don't cure the condition, which I think I will, I think I will, I think I'll, 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 I'll come to com a complete cure, but if I don't, I'll be the healthiest, mm, nah, this is where some Chicago language starts creeping in, um, I'll be the healthiest man uh, with, with tinnitus around, but that's not my goal. My goal is complete, complete cure. So the next, uh, so that's a little bit about my personal story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it gives you some 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 benefit. And if you're suffering, I, uh, my heart goes out to you. I wish you the very very best, and I truly pray and hope that you find um, resources and people and support and books and and every little thing that helps, just a little bit. Do a lot of it. Um, you know, uh, you can really. Yeah, I just, I, I wish you the best. And, um, and so along with that, you know, I used to have this curetinnitis.org up and we had a member forum and there were some really nice people. Um, and we were really supportive. And the thing is that the forum started getting spammed and I couldn't handle the spam. I couldn't handle the workload. I couldn't delete all the messages. It was really terrible. Um, so now, recently, these membership sites have started popping up. So what I'd like to know is I'd like to see if you're interested in a membership site that presents interviews with practitioners who support the path of healing and curing, um, interviews with people who've cured their tinnitus, and I know of at least one that I actually could do an interview with, um, a supportive members-only spam-free member forum to discuss unsatisfactory results with treatment options, to share success stories, and to help you along. There would be tips, techniques, strategies, and information about curing tinnitus. It would be an ad-free, inf informative environment dedicated to supporting you on your path to true healing and vital health. And um, selected treatment options would receive a platform to present their methods um, but as a collective community, uh, we'll likely be able to coordinate member discounts for specific products and services. So that's what I'm offering. If that sounds appealing to you, just put your name and your email address in the form below or just comment on the YouTube video. And, um, and I will very, very sparingly contact you. Like I'll, I'll let you know when I've got 100 people interested and maybe when there are 200. And I will let you know if this is a go. Obviously, you're under no obligation to buy or try or anything, but this is just a way for me to find out if, if you're interested in, uh, in a membership site uh, on curing tinnitus. Okay, let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Bye-bye.